What's up guys, Wilson here with another project that we just completed and we're getting it ready for the owner and it is this Porsche 992 Turbo S. What we did on here is a full body custom clear red alpha installation protecting the entire car and also doing so making it as seamless as possible. So for this video, I want to show you some of the close-up details for our work so that you see the difference between our custom installation and perhaps what uh, is out there when uh, others do it with pre-cut kits. So first off, let's check out this front bumper area. This lower lip over here, again, a one-piece custom installation and the film protects all the way in this area. And as we go back over there, you see that both sides are protected, both in here and in here, without relief openings and seams. Same thing up here by the fog lamp area. This area right over here, no seams, no relief openings, and it's covering from this bottom side all the way out here so that there are no beer paint being exposed. Now, if we look a little bit closer over here between the fender and bumper, you see the edge details about how we wrap the film in. At the same time, we do so without having to remove bumpers or any other panels so that uh, it does not get too overly involved. So let's move back here. Many times we see a lot of the more minute details that are left out uh, that can really make or break a PPF installation. And one obvious area are on the hood and the fender. So let's take another closer look over here. The corners and the edges over here are all fully wrapped as seamless as possible and distortion free as possible so that there are not, no seam for dirt collection or wax collection. Now, one question that we get asked a lot by Porsche owners uh, is whether or not they should have the decals underneath the film protected or placed on top of the paint protection film. That really is a matter of personal preference and for this owner, he decided to have the decals on the top. So our process for that is we remove the factory decals, film both the fender and the doors, and after that's done, we replace the new decals on top of those same areas so that it is more uh, OEM looking, more like how it came from the factory. The downside of that is that you do have to be a little bit more careful when you're wiping those edges and cleaning those areas. Now back to the rear quarter panel. We removed the shark fin piece, the factory shark fin that came only up to over here and we filmed the entire rear quarter panel. And the same thing that we've been doing for a lot of new Porsches nowadays is we use CGA 10, their 10 mils film, and we replaced a second layer on top of this fender flare area, but we extended it further up so you get better protection and um, that curve looks a lot better this way. Now, back here to the back side of the car, this rear ductile area isn't quite as uh, involved or difficult as the new 992 GT3s, but it's difficult nonetheless. Um, we do the same thing on these areas, a one-piece custom installation so that you, we minimize the seams so that um, over time when the car is being driven more, you don't get dirt built up along these areas. The rear bumper, one-piece custom installation, just like every single panel on this car, Especially with a white car, you don't want dirt build up and you don't want tons of seams to really affect the way this car looks. So guys, as you can see, this project is fully completed and uh, we will proceed with getting this one ready for the customer and getting ready to be delivered. I wanna thank you guys for watching another one of our videos and until our next one, please stay safe and I'll see you later.